CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Vancouver Island is bursting with pride tonight. Olympic pride for Simon Whitfield. Victoria's hometown hero has been chosen to carry Canada's flag and to lead his fellow athletes into the London Summer Games. This time around, the veteran triathlete, a gold and silver medalist, will be the underdog in what will be his Olympic swan song. CTV's Andrew Johnson has the reaction from Parliament Hill to Vancouver Island, and he joins us live with the story. Andrew. Hudson, Simon Whitfield has proven over and over he's one of our greatest Olympians and is a natural choice to lead Team Canada into London. But as many around these parts know very well, it also couldn't happen to a nicer guy. He arrives in a London cab, greets his childhood hero, gold medalist Mark Tewksbury, and speaks his first official words as Canada's flag bearer. To call you and tell you you're the Olympic flag bearer and you'll be leading your country, your, your teammates, your, your fellow Olympians into the London Stadium, it's, uh, it's overwhelming. Thousands of kilometres away, an entire island cheers. I'm pretty proud that he's from here in Victoria. He's an inspirational athlete and uh, just a great Canadian. I think that's a great honour for Simon Whitfield, for Victoria, for Canada. He's a total class athlete. He's a world class athlete. That's great news. Just delighted for him. Perhaps the triathlete was playing possum when he told us earlier this week, flag bearer, he wasn't. Yeah, that would be incredible. But as of right now, my flight's booked the day of the opening ceremony. So unless I plan to parachute out of a 747, I don't think that's going to happen. Looks like he rebooked that flight to carry the flag, then race for the Olympic podium one last time. In 2000, Whitfield won gold in Sydney when triathlon made its Games debut. In 2008, he returned home with silver around his neck. Can he do it again? I think he's going to come in in the top five. They're confident at Mole, the home of the Simon Whitfield yam omelette. It's healthy. It's one, it's joyful. I'm really happy for him and I'm happy for all of us. Whitfield's not biting off more than he can chew by making any bold pre-games predictions or promising to come home with a medal of any color. But this is the 37-year-old's last hurrah and he's made it clear on race day, August 7th, he'll push himself until he's got absolutely nothing left. I'm an underdog. I'm certainly an old, I'm, an, I'm the old wolf and uh, I'll go down swinging, we'll see. Then he'll pop back up and focus completely on who Whitfield says has become his number one priority. August 8th, I'll be at the park somewhere in London playing with my kids. And if I have a shiny medal around my neck, I will still be at the park. Either way, he'll still be Victoria's Simon Whitfield, Canadian hero. Hudson, no one wants to be a Debbie Downer right now, but Simon Whitfield was asked about the infamous flag bearer jinx today. You'll remember in the 90s, some Canadian athletes bombed out after leading the team into the opening ceremonies, but the last couple, including Clara Hughes in Vancouver, won medals. Whitfield's response, uh, he maintains he'd never even heard of the jinx, doesn't believe in it, and says this is an advantage, not a disadvantage. And we certainly all wish him well. well we don't be superstitious about that. Uh, he is such a good guy. This is terrific. He sure is. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, Andrew, thanks.